Blog Talk Radio. Uh, good evening, everyone. This is me, Jonathan Alexander, and I'm here to host our show, Life, Laughter, Happiness. And uh, my co-host, Barbara, is uh, she... She will be off doing. She's off doing something, so she'll be she'll be back with us next time. Now I want to see if if this is Dale that's calling in. Give me one second here. Uh, Dale, is that you? Yes. Okay, great, great, great. Yeah, Hi. I um, I ha- how are you doing tonight, Dale? <laughs> I don't know. I fell asleep. I I think I almost fell asleep while I was driving. It's so hot here with the fires. And uh, then I choked on a piece of watermelon, and I couldn't get it out of my throat. So uh, I remember, I'm okay now. I mean, I got to say, you've had um, – I'm going to go ahead and put Richard on, but, but I'm going to go ahead and say you've had a lot of stress, you know, in the yes. past couple yes. of – and, and you had a big relief for that stress. Am I right? I hope so. You know, I hope so. Uh, you want to talk about was, it or would you rather it be Sure. Quiet? No, no, no. It's fine. Is, is Richard on? Yeah, yeah. I'm there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, it was, I don't know if it was stress, but it was different. It was, uh, I've never had this problem in my four hours a day looking for a house to rent that would be to my standards just to be, you know, I just didn't want to take anything. Cause I have a German shepherd dog. He had to have a backyard. He had a, uh, my husband had to have a two car garage. He had to have storage. And, um, I found like in three months, two or three, but when I find them, I got it zapped away from me. Like one, one I found, but the guy didn't have air conditioning. Well, in Nevada right now, we're 95 degrees going to 100, <laughs> and then we have the fires. And I wasn't going to go into a place that had no air and didn't he didn't want to put air in. Uh, you know, I said I'd pay for the the air little you know windows. And oh no, I mean my my uh, windows may not hold them anyway. That was that one. And then the next one. I found was halfway decent, uh, but they wanted twenty eight hundred dollars. The, the rents are ridiculous, and uh, the point was uh, he had someone at the last second um, go out from under me for thirty five thousand dollars. In other words, the guy said, "I'll give you thirty five thousand dollars rent for the whole year, and, and therefore you can rent it to me." So it's. It's not been easy. I mean, houses have been running from 2000 on up. And, uh, you know, you get to the point where the locals, we just can't afford this. I mean, it's ridiculous. So I finally found one through my realtor that was 1800 and that was fine. And it has a three-bedroom, two-bath, and huge, 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 huge backyard fence for my dog. And double car garage, and that's good enough for now. That's where I'm at. Wow. Okay. But it's been rough. I don't know if it's that huh. rough in Florida, is, is it? Jonathan? What? Well, was what? Renting of a place. Oh. Well, I mean, but I mean, you've all you've been really worried about this for a long time. I mean, and it, and it's really nice because yep. I love you very much. I'm really glad to see you not have to. You're my psychic aunt, and it's really nice <laughs> to see. Well, I figured you'd like that better than Judge Judy. <laughs> well, thank you. I do. I do like that better than Judge Judy. I do. I do. I do. I do. It's just, it's been rough because um, I didn't want to leave the area. And the next step was to go with Richard and go to New Mexico. And I didn't want to go there um, because he has a family there and they have their own issues, you know? So Mm -hmm. I didn't want to, I didn't want to go there and bother anybody. So, and then I'd have to live in a trailer and all that stuff. So, so, so far, so good. 
I gave him the money yesterday, and we probably won't move in until about between the 7th and the 10th of August, which is fine, because now I have stress we're moving. At <laughs> least you, know? you know you're getting a place, yeah. Well, uh, let's see. Are you ready to take a call? Well, I will, but you can talk to Richard for a moment. Okay. Just don't leave huh. him hanging. Richard, how are Did you doing? I have something? Well, what? I'm doing pretty good, John. Uh, it has been literally two or three months of disappointments, and uh, then two or three months of frustration. You know, and people are just they they want to know your history and uh, when you're going to have your next kid, and do you have five million in your back pocket, and we might consider you for renting. And it's it's really freaky. Uh, you drop it back to, to my normal age group, say in my 40s, when you walked in to some place and you wanted to rent it, and there was a rent sign, and you said, yeah, I'll take it. You gave me your money and walked out. There was none of this stuff of, uh, you know, I want to see how much you make and how much you spend and and uh, all this kind of nonsense. So it's very frustrating, you know? Yeah, extremely, and it, it's, it's rough on us because, uh, you know, hey, I've been paying rent four and a half years to the same realty company, never been late, and, you know, they don't care. Oh, what? make sure your score is 760. I go, what, in the middle of coronavirus? I don't think so. You know, it's mm. – and then so we'll, we'll pick somebody that has a high score, you know. So then you've got – on top of that, John, you've got to put in forty fifty dollars every single time. You want to look at a house. So people are starting to catch on. They're not putting the money in. House prices are dropping a little. And uh, there's a little bit more rentals that are coming online because people are just, you know, not putting up or they're moving out of the area. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Weird. <laughs> John, really weird. Here. Yes, I'm here. I'm right here. Well, yeah. it's, it's, it's been very rough. Yeah. But now comes the packing, which we're doing, and just want to move over there. Then they'll come the unpacking. Then we're going to Hawaii. Screw it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Okay. So, what do you, you say maybe for? Maybe? You got a ticket? So? <laughs> so? Somebody will have to punch it, you know. <laughs> what? No, what? Uh, uh, my bad humor. Okay, maybe you All got right. a caller here. We do have a caller. Um, I'm going to put it on, person on. Is that okay, um, uh, Dale? Yeah, sure. Okay, area code nine one nine. You're on the air. Hello, my name is Sandra, and I'm calling from Georgia. And I was just listening to. All the stress and drama you've been going through about the move, and and I totally, totally understand. I um, it, it's the short, quick version of it is my relationship is still much love there, and we are getting along. I'm moving out from with my partner, and she, you know, I, I'm moving at the end of the month, so I have been going through exactly what you're talking about, and oh, as geez. you said, these application is like. Fifty dollars, seventy-five dollars, sixty dollars, right? Just to apply, and that's not the administrative fee that they charge, you know, for doing the application. So I, I told you. So I think I have a. Well, no, no, I have a place, and it looks like yeah. I'm scheduled to move next week. So I'm praying. Oh, that tell that me is about it. On tell tell me tell um, me about it. Is it why it's, in it's Georgia? A house. Is it, yeah, why in Georgia is it so tough? Um, that rent moratorium, that um, housing moratorium that was going on because of COVID and not being able to, you know, just evict people, and uh, that has been a good and a bad. Uh, it's good okay, wait for a minute. people wait, who wait, are. Wait, wait, one second. One second. Richard? Mm-hmm. Richard? No. Yeah. Do you have the TV on? No. Yeah, no. I mean, I can hear background noise of a television. Oh, well, it ain't me. Not getting oh, it ain't me. me. Okay. Oh, All I'm right. sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. Go ahead, honey. So what did you, yeah. what did the, you um, end up getting? Uh, so I found a, I, it's so crazy, I found a house uh, that I was really excited about, thought I was going to move into it. 
then the realtor, she's really good. She said that there was an issue with it. So a couple of more looks, and I finally found a, a three-bedroom, two-bath house. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm just waiting to, you know, get the date. I already put the hold fee down, so I'm just waiting for uh-huh. the actual date to do the walkthrough and sign the lease, which I'm hoping will be next Friday because that's like um, oh well, I can tell payday. You, you got you got the house, so don't worry. How much is it? <laughs> um, fifteen, 15 no, yeah, fifteen hundred a month. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Even in Georgia. It's high price. Yeah. I mean, you oh. Know, I, what, oh yeah. What What were that's, your prices? That's a low end, and it's, uh-huh. yeah, that was a lower end. Meaning, like, I'm getting a three bedroom house for uh, it's actually fifteen fifty, but a one bedroom apartment could have been fifteen fifty if I stayed in in the Atlanta area. So I'm looking out on the suburb so I can get something I can afford. Well, that's mm-hmm. great. Uh, are you going to have any problems mm-hmm. with work or anything like that? Uh, yeah, that was my question that I'm asking. I <laughs> I called uh, and asked. I accepted a position uh, a few months back, and I thought, well, the short of it is, they're not delivering on what they promised. This is just totally, completely different, and I'm just learning what, to what type of work do you, What type of work do you do? Um. I, in the legal field, mm-hmm. I contract contract management, contract I don't negotiations. Know what is. What, what does uh, that doing mean? contracting uh, uh, the, the legal documents for mm-hmm. for the uh, company. So doing okay. contract you review, you contract management. All right, you mean you can't tell me you can't get a job anywhere doing that? Um, well, no, it's not that I can't get a job anywhere. I have a job. I'm just not liking it, and I'm I'm realizing. This is not the best move for me. So I'm looking. I'm looking. Okay. Well, just it's easier to get a job when you have a job. Okay. I don't know why yeah. that is. It just is. So just keep the one you have temporarily. Okay. And then I promise you within two to three months or less, you're going to find something. They need legal Excellent. people to do what you do. So right where you're living, I feel like uh, – you're going to be able to find something. That's great. I, I'm praying and trusting that I am because I did, I realize where I am. I, I'm not getting what I was promised. This is so well. What did they promise? What you? I what did they promise you? Um, the duties would be a lot different. The salary, although it's good, is still not what they originally said, and the the opportunity for um, the bonus. I just say my manager, she is she's a little different than anybody I've ever worked for. She <laughs> is very crude, very sarcastic. Um she says some things sometimes during meetings that I I, I mean, I, I know I have a little potty mouth at times, but there's there's time and place. She she will bring you to blush. <laughs> wow. <laughs> is she from New York? Yes. <laughs> Thank That's you. the problem. She's a New York, she's a New York girl. She's, she's a New York girl. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, don't blame her. Don't blame her. I'm from Jersey, <laughs> New York, and oh man, mm-hmm. I get accused left and right of being crude and mean and saying weird things, and it's just because yes. I was raised. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's yeah, not, I, I, like I said, I'm not saying I'm like the little choir girl by no means, but it's like she has called me on uh, making a comment that she has said and somebody else has oh said gosh. within the meetings. And I'm like, uh, okay, so we're going to pick and choose <laughs> who can say what, okay? <laughs> well, no, yeah. back these people are just, they're not all like that, you know. It's just like... Uh, Look, when I moved from back east to Hawaii, uh, mm. I couldn't understand why people were so good and kind. I mean, they come <laughs> over and they bring you presents and they bring you <laughs> stuff and you go, what? You know, and they must want something, you know. And yeah. that wasn't it at all. That was just the Hawaiian way. But, I mean, mm-hmm. in as far as uh, back east people, once they get to know you, 
once they fall in love with you, and I mean that literally, <laughs> that's it. That's it. You've got a friend for life. They will kill for you. They will die for <laughs> you. So don't, don't just, just ignore what she says, okay? Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm just praying and hoping that for my sanity, I, I will be out of there because, um, it is, it's a stressful work environment because I never know what I'm, the, the rules change so quickly. I have no problem with changing and things, but it's like she'll give me instructions on something and then it's like she changes her mind and almost like I'm supposed to read her mind and I'm thinking, but how would I have known <laughs> to do it differently if you gave me instructions the last time and you didn't tell me it was well, done don't, differently? Don't worry, time, don't so. worry. You're going to get something else. So just hang in there and do the best you can. Got you. Thank you. You actually answered and you the might question. Say, you, you, might, the you might go to lunch with her and say, look, you know, um, here's my problem. You know, I, I you tell me you do one thing and then you change your mind in midstream. I, I, I'm famous for that. I really am famous for that. <laughs> I'll say, go do this and then boom. <laughs> I change my mind. I could be doing that while driving. I'm driving to one oh, place. Wow. I don't want to go. I don't want to go here, so I go somewhere else. So, you know, so. <laughs> it, it, it's just that way. But you're going to be all right. I see you making a lot of money. I see okay. you being very successful. I see you being very good. And a new partner is in store for you. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate so that. Got a lot. <laughs> but what what part of Atlanta are you in? Um, I right. I'm in. Um, I'm moving to Douglas Field. Yeah. I'm in. How far in, is that from Atlanta? The, uh, let's see. It's probably about um, probably about sixteen, seventeen miles out. Oh, not that's really, really, really far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Not far but out. questions: yeah. Aren't the houses cheaper out there? Oh yeah, yes, they are. They really are. But you, if you want to stay in the city, where the city life is, you're going to have to pay a lot more because. Mm-hmm. Everybody, it is people, it is so busy and so congested that either you live in the middle of it or you get away from it and then go to it for entertainment. I choose to not live in the, in the center of all of that. Well, well, I don't play too much. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I, you know, hey, I think I've always been that way, but I grew up in Jersey and New York. So, you know, there are times that you have a lot of fun in the city. And then there are times you mm-hmm. just want to go home and mellow out. So exactly, that's the way, exactly. You know that's the way mm-hmm. it is. But you're going to be okay, so not to worry, okay? Wonderful. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, and I wish you the best on your move. So I know that what that feels like. I'm about <laughs> to do that myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, you, have a, you have a do you have a dog? Yeah. Um. I don't have one. There's one in the house where I am now, but I I do want to get one. Okay, because I see you with a dog too. Mm. But don't get one oh, right okay. away because you, you need. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I'm just just to spend with yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was gonna wait okay. a while. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you Thank so you much. Calling. I appreciate you. Yes. Thank okay. you. Bye. I like that, Johnny. Johnny. Yes, I'm here. Johnny. I'm when, here. When she says, yeah. All right. When she <laughs> says, "You all, you all," <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So when are you, Johnny? When are you going to? Uh, um, the seventeenth of August, Los Angeles. I'm going to get up in California. It's Huntington Beach. It's seventeenth of right. August. For how mm-hmm. long are you going to be? A week. Right. And but it, so, like, are we going to do the show at that point when you're there? I'm sure we will. I mean, you know, there's going to be, uh, it's interesting. The show's anniversary uh, falls in the time that that I'm there. And, um, you know, Barbara's birthday it falls when I'm there. So it's it's going to be nice. Well, that will mm-hmm. be fun. You know, that, yeah. that would be fun. Yeah, yeah, and Richard's birthday falls in the middle of us moving. <laughs> so that See. should be fun. That's okay. Okay, so what do you want yeah. me to do now? Uh, let's see. Um, do you want to go to another caller? Yeah, sure. 
Okay. Area code 502, you're on the air. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Hi, my name is Melody. Mm-hmm. And where are you calling from? What state? I'm from Kentucky. Wow. Mm. We've never had anybody from Kentucky that I know of. Um, I was, I was laughing when you all, the you all, because I say y'all. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Actually, they do that in Nevada, too, a little bit, you know. Um, the yeah. the favorite, every place has their own identity, like Hawaii is Aloha. Here uh, in Nevada is, you have a good one. You know, have oh, a good okay. one. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, in Mi- in Missouri, um, when you say thank you, they'll um, they'll say you bet instead of you're welcome. <laughs> they'll say you bet. So, <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's there? What's there to? What's we always like to know? What's there to do in Tennessee? Um, Tennessee. Tennessee. Um, I like. I mean, I like Nashville. It's um, it's um, a party scene. You know, um, lots of like country bars and live music. But it's something you should definitely oh, yeah. um, ex- experience one time in Nashville. Uh, and then there's Gatlinburg in, in Tennessee, which is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Never been down to that neck of the woods. The furthest gone is North Carolina. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So not not very so, south. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So how mm-hmm. how can I help you, sweetheart? Um, I have been um, feeling really... The best way to describe it is stuck, um, not sleeping. Um, I'm very drained. I'm um, a pretty sensitive empath, and um, Mm -hmm. I just I don't know how to get out of this rut. And I feel like that um, I feel like there's something, a message I'm I'm, I should be receiving, but. I'm so um, like my brain is so fogged. I'm I can't, I'm not receptive right now. Um, I, okay. I just feel well. Let me let, let me explain what an empath is to a lot of people because they don't know because I'm one, and I'm going through a lot of the same things you're going through, especially with these fires and the smoke, and I'm stuck in the house. And okay, being an empath is you pick up on other people's feelings and you think they're your own. Like if somebody is, you know, sick or, or they're having a heart problem, your heart may palpitate. Mm-hmm. Or if if something is, um, they're bummed out, then you're going to be bummed out, but you think it's you and it's them. Or yeah. I used to have this one of, with one of my best friends, uh, she'd have this good and plenty craze and I don't even like this stuff and then, all of a sudden, I call her up and I say, I have this desire for good and plenty. She'd be eating one. You know, oh, wow. you know what I mean? Yes. So I, yes. in path, <laughs> it's hard. Um, unless you, and I've learned to isolate myself from the world, and that only doesn't help. Uh, you sort of get away from everything. Yes, That's what even like I can't do. watch the news, you know, no, the yeah. news. I know, I know. I have this thing with Richard. He's always talking to me about dogs and he loves them. And I'm going, I don't want to see anything about dogs. He doesn't understand why. But no wonder, I said, I don't, can't handle a dog being hurt. I can't yes. handle it because I have a dog. And so uh, in watching the news, I usually walk away from it. Some of it I can watch, some of it I can't. Because you're picking up on all that stuff, you know, which is mm-hmm. something I want to talk about in the news. Johnny, are you there? I'm here. Johnny, listen I'm to here. this. And I, had it. Um, I looked this up because it was but empathically, I felt this to be true. Um, it, it was sometime in June, like around the 16th, that the United States government put a bomb by Florida, and they blew it up, uh, a hydrogen bomb or a big bomb. It was 40,000 tons, and it blew up. I mean, they did it as an, you know, as an experiment to uh, make sure it worked, right? That, and then a few days later is when Surfside and all the other places started, you know, losing it. And I think that that bomb, oh, and it said it caused a 3.9 earthquake in Florida, 
So I have a feeling that that bomb had something to do with it. And I'm feeling that so strong. It's unreal. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Johnny. I'm here. I'm here. Um, Are you you saying that... um, because you, you yourself said you never were much of a world predictor. It sounds like you're making world prediction, though, don't you think? No, I'm not making a prediction. I'm saying that that bomb went off, and I believed it caused some of the shaking that made some of the, uh, you know, Surfside and other places start. You know, they they had problems to begin with, but I think it shook a lot mm-hmm. of the problems loose. And that's mm. not called world prediction. Okay. World mm. prediction is is that the president's going to be assassinated. That's a world prediction. No, I don't do that. I don't do that. But I'm saying, but there are times that I get those feelings. So I just have to say, and I don't know why I brought that up. But that's part of being an empath. You pick up, you know. And sweetheart, yes. I wish I could give you an answer as to how not to do it, you know, how to get away from it. The only way I know to get away from it is to isolate yourself on an island or something. Right. You know, where it's, but then you still pick it up because you're picking it up through the your brain. Mm-hmm. But, hey, mm-hmm. I have found one way, and I did this, okay? I bought me a headset. And I would blast music in my ears, and that worked. Um, I do that at nighttime because, um, to me, silence is loud. I don't know if that makes sense, but sil- yes. my, my mm-hmm. mind races when it's silent. So, I, yeah, I, I have to have some kind of, like, podcast or something at nighttime. Um, nighttime is a really hard time, like, the worst for me, Um But you said you're an empath. Do you have gastric issues or stomach issues? No, no. Okay. Um, I've I've read that some empaths, you know, they have that because they're picking up on the energy and stuff. I have a lot of stomach issues. Well, I could if I ran into somebody who had stomach problems, then I would pick up their stomach problems. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But as Mm. as a whole, no. Okay. So I've been, like, I bet I'll turn the TV on all night just to listen so it drowns out all the noise in my head and mm-hmm. stops me from thinking, you know? Yes. So that helps. Um, so that's the only way I, um, it's something you're just going to have to live with because you're extremely psychic too. I, yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So what it, well, where were we with the regular, with the question? Um, well, and I, I just, um, I feel like that um, someone who has passed um, or maybe an angel God or some, some, I'm meant to know something. I just feel like I'm, met, I'm, there's something that I'm supposed to know and I'm not receiving the message. Well, unfortunately, there's always something we need to know from the other side. And it's yeah. called, uh, it's called, uh, I'll give you an idea. Pay attention to the signs in the road um, okay. when you're driving or whatever. Pay attention to the signs. I'll like, give you an idea. I needed a place to live. And there was a sign right up on the building that said for rent. And I said, hmm, oh, I don't want to live there. It's too close to the street. Well, lo and behold, then my landlord died and I have to move. So pay attention to the signs. They always, the other side always gives you a sign about something. Okay. One of my favorite ones as a sign was I go to my dad's um, grave and I talk to him and I said, Dad, if you knew I was here, give me a sign of some sort uh, that you knew I was here. So as we're driving back from L.A. and we're on I-5, we get shoved off the highway and we have to take a different route. And as we're taking a different route, there's a uh, farm that says Murray's Farm. Well, that was my dad's name. 
Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, stuff like that. Those are signs, well, okay? Yeah, you and when you know, you know. Um, y- yep. You know, whenever you see stuff like yep. that, you know for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, when you, you just hit it on the button. When you know, yes. you know. And mm-hmm. nobody, don't let anybody shake it for you. Just like I'm telling Johnny, I know, I know, I know that bomb went off and shook the surfside. I can't prove it, and I don't think it, it wasn't meant to happen that way, but I think, uh, I know, I know that it that was one of the causes. I'll say one of the causes, okay? Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys can look it up. Because I went and looked it up yesterday about the bomb. For What was it, Richard? 40,000 what? It was a 40,000 uh, pound bomb. Uh, not a nuclear thing, just a bomb. I mean, or a big explosive device. They, they um, sunk into the, dropped it in the ocean, and they were supposedly testing uh, the effect on ships from an explosion like that. So uh, I'm assuming, this is bad, do assume, that the Navy had some ships out there floating around and, uh, you know, they were taking uh, measurements and tests and all this nonsense. But uh, in defense of what you're saying, uh, I would agree with you with a three-point-something uh, earthquake factor thrown in, and that Surfside condo was weak to start with. It was about ready to fall in, and uh, all it needed was that last little push and maybe this was the last little push that did it boom down she came uh anyway yeah i won't go any further yeah it isn't anything they would ever admit you know i don't believe in coincidences so i i can i can understand what you're saying and well there is no such thing as coincidence things are meant to happen for a reason exactly Mm -hmm. Mm mm-hmm You know, and always, I mean, always things happen for a reason. We don't know exactly what the reasons are at the time, but later right. on, you know, we find out, oh, that's why that had. It's like looking back at the past. Um, yes, I'll I have say hindsight of, is 2020. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you feel about this one, but I've always been asked do you think things are predestined or you think, do you think things are free will? Um, you know what, that's one thing that I ponder a lot. Um, I think, I don't know if I think that they're predestined. I think that things can change. Um, yeah, I think that, I don't think that things are predestined. And I do. Mm -hmm. Because I have made thousands of predictions and I can, and in those predictions, if it can be altered or changed, it can only be done so minutely, but it will revert back to the original thing. Well, you know, that is a very good point. Yeah. Um, I I do, now that you said that, I do think that um, that does make sense. Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. just like, uh, it, all right, I've had it where people come to me for reading and uh, plane's going to crash. Don't go on the plane. But the plane does crash, but they're not on it. Mhm. Okay, so I feel like major events in the world are predestined. There's room for little bits of of altering the future to a point, but I've been able to do it. I've been able to alter the future a little bit. But you know what? Somewhere down the line, it always comes back to the way it should go. Mhm. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I'm, gi- I'm giving you an education here. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes. Um, okay. And I appreciate what else? your advice. Okay. And what else you need to know, sweetheart? Um, nothing. Just real quick, I'll tell you. Um, we were talking about signs. Um, my younger brother passed away, and you know they say pennies from heaven, and I was finding pennies. I mean, mm-hmm. like in the bathtub, in the bathtub, like places you would not. And I jokingly said out loud one day, I said, "You know, Jordan, I need a raise." And I started finding dimes. You started finding what? 
dimes instead right. of pennies. Because I oh. said I needed a raise. Oh, is that funny? Also, <laughs> butterflies. Yes, yes. But be, beside um, pennies from heaven, um, so always look at the date of the pennies from heaven, but also um, butterflies. Okay. And butterflies hmm. appear. I have one that no matter what I do, I can't change it or alter it. And um, when a bird hits my window, some, uh, that's the, the sign of death. That is, I'm going to hear of a death. Oh, okay. Every single one, mm. that's my sign. Okay. Wow. Well, thank you so much for your time. Hey, thank you for calling. And I hope you, you learned a little. I did. Yeah. I really did. Very insightful. And um, you all have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Okay, you too. Thank, thank you, ma'am. You. Bye. Bye. All Sam, right. What do, you, what do you want to say? Talk to me first, because Barbara always oh. talks to me. I know. Well, this is just interesting, I guess. I'm not used to saying this much. I'm used to the, more of the technical stuff. But um, they do say that, like, that the pennies and flower, feathers are supposed to be signs. That's what I've yeah, heard. Yeah, feathers. I forgot about that. I don't know what the feather means, but every time I find a feather, it's supposed to be good luck or something. Yeah. Yeah, it so uh, the pennies from heaven are just pennies you find on the street, and they have a date, and you're supposed to look at the date and try to remember if it you can recall it meaning anything to you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, are you ready for another call? No, I want sure. to talk to you more. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't it's, want to go I, it's, it's it's amazing. I mean, well, let me ask you this: When you feel these things, I mean, do you just see them, or do you feel them, or both? What things? Feelings, predictions. I feel them. Okay. And sometimes I see them, but mostly feel. I'm a feeler. I can't help it. Hmm. Hmm. There are some people that are real visual. I'm not one of them. I can have, I was looking for a tool in my kitchen and it <laughs> like was right in front of me. You know, yeah, I can't, you know, I, I just, I don't see. But then I, then all of a sudden, <clears throat> if I look at my house, here's a weird one. If I look at the house I just rented, I could see myself in it. But then if I look at the apartment that I was going to rent, I don't see myself no more. It fades to nothing. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that answers mm. your question. Mm. Let's um, go on. Mm. All right. Uh, oh, what? Let's go on. Is that what you said? No, that's what you said. No, I thought that's what Richard said. <laughs> Oh, well, I don't know. I'm I don't trying not to, to say anything. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she never listens to me. <laughs> okay. okay, go on. Okay, okay you ready for another call? Sure, sure, why not? Okay, area code 216, you're on the air. Hello? Yes. Aloha. Hello. Okay, my name is Sharon. How are you? Fine, and where are you calling from, Sharon? The state, uh, well, the city is, is around Westlake, Ohio. Westlake, hmm. Ohio. I've been to Ohio. It's a very beautiful state. You've been going through some, <clears throat> a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, a lot of not hurt. This, sorry, but not this year. I think last year, yes. Oh, okay. Last year. No, you're coming yeah. out of it? Thank you. That's okay. what I, I am. I. You're absolutely right. And I know I had... A, I have, with work a little bit, there's one person that's just dece- deceitful, but I think it got straightened out it, uh, today. She was, it's like she's like, like, she changes from day to day. It's just one person. I love my job, but one person mm-hmm. can make the whole office terrible. You understand what I mean, don't you? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 
But I have had a lot of hurt in my life. You're absolutely right. There's no doubt about that. I mean, that. it's beyond it's beyond the norm. Okay. Oh, I mean, it's it's like heard. when you were when you were growing up and going through hell and going through pain and going through suffering and not knowing where your next meal would come from. Sometimes, I mean, it's like you've risen above it. I you're right. Oh, don't get me emotional. You are right. I did have I'm a hard sorry. childhood. I did. Yeah, You're well, absolutely right. So did I. So I can I can relate. I can relate. I'm and, and I finally have a great job, and I thank <laughs> God every day for it. I'm not kidding. Okay, what t- what type of work do you do? I, I I'm in investment banking. Okay, is that like a fidelity or stocks or? Yeah, it's a bank though. Not in in a bet. Yes, I work like okay. a private bank. I work at home, but I, that's my question. Yeah. I love it. It keeps my mind very active. And I, okay. I, so what I would there. say, what I would say with this girl that keeps bothering you, or and I do believe she's at her end, because she's not going to be there much longer. Okay. Is oh, she's just been doing this the last six weeks. That's why you can see I was so hurt. I don't get it. People are so freaking crazy. You just don't know what hits them or what triggers them. I did nothing to her. <laughs> Maybe she's worried about her job. That's all I could no, think of. No, 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 no. How, how old is she? 43. She's in the menopause, okay? She's entering the menopause. Oh, today she was nice. Maybe she she picked someone else to pick, or not to pick on, but just to be sure. I mean, you understand, you understand what the menopause is. I sure do. Oh yeah. What? Luke okay. The whole... Oh yeah. So that's what she. If you really look back at what she's done, it's all the beginning stages of the menopause. That's and all I can tell you is be kind to her, be I nice always... to her, and be really sweet to her, and say, "Is there anything I can help you with?" She can't help. I went through twenty years of that. Menopause. Wow, that's interesting. You're, I'm, I bet you're right. In fact, I know, I know you're I'm right. right. Cause the men- yeah, the menopause <laughs> starts right around that age, and it's like uh, you want to shoot yourself with a gun. I mean, you know, it's just like it's hell. It's but I have to tell you, hell. I called last week. You probably don't remember, but you were so right no. about my question. I have a totally different question tonight, but you were so okay. right. It was about my review I had this week. She, you said that there was something that oh, yeah. I needed to work on, the one thing. And you're at, she, I got a great review, except there's one thing I need to work on. You were so right. And she's right. You know, everybody oh, has you. to work on something. But you were absolutely right. right. I just want to let you know that. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Thank you. But Thank you. Not to worry. This, but as far I, as this, this girl, is, she's going to go mm-hmm. away and tell her you understand what she's going through and uh, just leave it at that. You and just try to. You really yes. think she's going to leave? Yes. Wow, by the end of the year? I don't know when. Timing's so hard. I know. I shouldn't even ask that. I know. Timing's so hard. But is she, I hope she leaves on her own and not any other way. I don't think it matters. That's none of your business. Thank just you. Just let it Just let it. You're right. flow mm-hmm. and do what you need to do and you'll be fine. Okay? All right. This is this is the question I had, but the, totally different than what my work. My dog. I have a question about my lovely dog I adopted. Her name's Olive. I'm going back oh, into boy. the office. I'm going back into the office after um, Labor Day. This is true. I mean, oh. it's official. Two days a week. Is she going to be okay home alone two days a week? What are you picking up on oh. her? She's very housebroken, and but I, I don't want her to have anxiety. What are you picking up on her? Uh, Please, yeah, I'm right. sorry. Two days a week. I don't see a problem. Do you have a friend that can come check on her? Yes, I was thinking about Kevin. Um, yes, I do. I even thought I would think get a babysitter. Get a, they do have babysitters that can come in a couple hours a day and walk her and play with her and do that, and she'd be fine. Okay. Mm-hmm. But she's not. But I know how you feel. I don't leave my dog alone for two seconds. He goes with us she everywhere. She goes everywhere with me. She goes every mm-hmm. except for when I go to the gym. Can't she you bring her to work? Can't you bring? No, bring oh, not at a bank. Nope. I even take her to the grocery mm-hmm. store. Because she had such a hard life. She's nine years old. She was, oh, I don't even want to go into it. But I just don't want her to get scared. And, yes, I thought of doggy daycare, but doggy daycare isn't always that good. They keep them in a cage, you know. 
I'd rather have her well, not my all, house not all of them. Do. Not all, not all. You're right. You're right. Just pick the ones that don't. And if you were to take her to doggy daycare where she can play with other dogs, she'll be as happy as a pumpkin. I know. Mm-hmm. You're right. She's worth it. I'm actually I'm yeah, taking yeah. her this Tuesday as a test trial. I'm going to drop her off. I'm taking the day off. I the know. Day. I'm going to go, not, yeah. I couldn't do that. I could not go and leave my dog. I can't do it. At doggy daycare. I know. This is the first. I've only had her three months. She's She's wonderful. Oh, my gosh. I absolutely but love But you know what? Day. They need companionship and socialization of other animals. So is this doggy daycare? They don't lock them up? This one, I don't know. Is I'm going to find out Tuesday when I go in. I don't. I think they not, have a huge. Yeah. Okay. Do me a favor. Call. You don't have to go down there. <laughs> yeah. Call. And you can All call right. different ones to see where, you know, hey. I know in Nevada they have swimming pools for them. They have slides <laughs> for them. They, it's just like it's unbelievable, you know, what they have. They have beds and bedrooms and televisions. They have hotels. I mean, you know, so look around. You'll find something. Mm. It may cost your paycheck, but it's worth it for two days. And two days a week, I know, maybe one, if you know, during the winter. I'm sure snow days, but I know it, they're not cheap. You're damn right about that. So I'm going to yep. check it out. But I'm just, I'm just worried about her anxiety. She keeps it to herself. But she's a good girl. She'll be girl. okay. She'll be Thank okay. you so much. Okay. Thank All you for right. the advice about work, too. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, aloha. Okay. <laughs> well, that was nice, Johnny. You know, it's yeah, funny. Gotta... I, I I got, um, you still have some callers. And it, what's interesting is, is, you know, the really the um, putting out the tags really works. It's nice that we found out what works because I mean, what, what? putting up what, what? the what tag, the tags. What ta- okay, oh. Oh. yeah, the, the tags. Okay. I, I don't. You said that you didn't want me to explain it to you, but but it, you seem it, it works. No, no, no. I got it. I remember. I remember. It's okay. Okay, it's you okay. can go on to the next. Per- you can go on okay. the next person. This next person oh, is very wait, close. Before, wait, wait, what? Johnny. I just yes. uh, give out your what? phone number, please. Sure. This number is five one six five three one nine eight seven four. Seven four. Okay. Okay, but but Richard, you talked over him. So let me do it I again, didn't talk please. Over him. Yeah, you okay. five one six. Yeah, don't five one Rich. six five three one. Nine eight seven four. Go ahead, Thank John. You. Repeat it again. All right. <laughs> five one six five three one nine eight seven four during the show. Okay. Okay. And if you want to, um, yeah. Area if code you want a reading on the show. You're no, on don't the give that out. I'll give it out. Okay. Go ahead. Right. Eight Hello. six zero. Are you there? Hello. How are you? Hi. Where are you from? Hi. Hello. Hi, this is Amla. How are you? Amla, where are you from? Connecticut. I've talked to you before. Okay, I thought so. Okay. Um, How can I help you? Yes, yeah. I was wondering, um, do you see me needing, like, Soul Tribe really connecting types of people in the next month or two or possibly a relationship? (laughs) <laughs> well, wait, when you're saying the first part, meeting who? Yes. Meet, meeting, who do you want to meet? I want to meet deep, connected people. And it's just, it's not because if I go to a spiritual group, this is just an example that I'll meet somebody there. It's, it, it doesn't even need to be male. It doesn't, I don't care what gender it is. It's just, I'm not meeting people, even though I go places. I really have a deep connection, and I just would okay. love to, yeah. Okay, I, I understand. Uh, out of yeah. curiosity, what sign are you? What month are you born? I am Sagittarius, December. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Most people do not have deep connections when they meet up with somebody. Most people yes. don't have soul-rendering connections. 
It's yes. very rare. Once in a while, you'll pick up on somebody and you go, I've known them before, or I feel a connection. So I wouldn't expect that at all. I would just go with having happiness and fun and joy. And whatever you pick up, you pick up. And eventually, the deep connections will come about later on. Okay. Okay. Okay? All right. Do you feel Thanks like there's point. anybody, though? Do you feel like there's anybody, like, in the next few months or anything, or no? I do. But I, I've talked to you before, so I'm going to move on to the next person. Thank you for calling, sweetie. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, you said going to the next caller, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, area code 386, you're on the air. Hi, this is Cindy. Thank you for taking my call. Hi, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Florida. Florida, okay. (laughs) Did you hear what I was saying about Florida earlier, about the Surfside? No, I didn't. I called in late. I just realized you were on, and I just was finishing up my evening chores. With the okay. animals, and I called in, and I started just. Okay, what part of Florida? Or what part of Florida are you from? Um, I'm from South Florida, but I'm in North Florida right now at the moment. South and North okay. don't mean anything to me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what I had said was, and, and I want to repeat it again, the government uh, was testing a bomb in Florida, forty. Repeat it, uh, Richard. Forty what? What the bomb? Richard, that was about a yeah. hundred miles offshore. And and how big was it? Forty thousand ton bomb that was submerged and exploded to test the stresses on ships from the explosion. But it also caused a about a three point one or two. Uh, Earthquake. No, 3.8 earthquake. Okay, in Florida. And uh, what, what we're saying here is that this might have had something to do with the Surfside condo falling in as kind of the last straw. You know, the condo was about ready to fall in anyway. And then, boom, this wow. thing goes, uh, shake it, and boom, down the gate. Okay, end the exploration, go. Not only that. There was balconies that fell off, which is very strange, somewhere in Florida. And just recently, there was a, I just saw it on the news yesterday that somewhere in Florida, there was a, uh, uh, like a place where you sing, you know, they, they had thousands of people, but nobody was there, and that fell out. And I think that the bomb that they uh, infused, um, had something to do with it. Wow. I'm not, you know, anyway. I just think that it was anyway. part of it. I'm not saying it was the whole thing. I'm just saying that because they did that, um, that that caused some of the stuff to happen. Mm-hmm. That makes wow, sense to you, true. darling? Uh, yeah, I hadn't heard about them setting off a bomb underwater. Yeah, yeah, well, crazy. I don't think they wanted any. I heard it once and saw it on TV <laughs> and going, whoa. Anyways. And then a few days later, Surfside fell in. So I'm going, hmm. Okay. Check into her question. Oh. Very interesting, anyway. yeah. Yeah, how far uh, How far are you from the Surfside? A uh, long way. It's like long, um, long maybe six hours. Okay. Mm-hmm. How can I help you? Um, I was wondering if you have any insight on um, a relationship that I was recently in, if you see that coming back together and as reconnecting. Name. Let me have his name. Mark. Okay. Have you been talking to him at all? No, not for two weeks. Not for two weeks, okay. But you guys ended it um, more or less on a friendly basis or just walked away? Uh, no, we got in a very stupid argument that I have no idea what it was even about. We were actually getting very, very close. And it just suddenly had a blow up and stupidest thing I ever saw. I have no idea what happened. 
Well, that happens a lot with men. Men are very strange creatures. Mm. Um, when they feel <laughs> yeah. when they when they feel they're getting too close to you, they push you away. Uh, yeah, that's don't kind of what I thought happened. Why. Uh, women are different, but men, you know, like, oh, I'm getting really close to her. I better run away. Uh, it's not abnormal, okay? Uh, mm-hmm. Will he come around about again? Yes, but slowly. But it won't be like it was before. Okay. Does that answer your your question? No. Um, so are we going to get back in a relationship or no? Are, are um, we just I don't going to get communication I don't, from him? I don't see it yet, and I wouldn't want you to wait for it. But if it were to happen, it would be more or less your choice. So just let it go okay. for now. There's nothing you can say, nothing you can do. He's just scared. He's running scared. Okay. So you know, you See if I am going to have any communication with him, any explanation? Or... Probably not because he doesn't know himself. It's just when men get real close to people, they tend to do that. That's just, in all my years of dealing with this, this is what I see. Women don't do that. Women immerse, but men go, oh, I'm getting too close to her. I got to leave. They put on their nikes and their running shoes and they go. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Right. Bye-bye. Thank Bye-bye. you. Well. Okay, Johnny, talk talk to me. Okay. You know, this has been a good show. I uh, it, uh yeah. I mean, um, I it, it's gotta say, I I really really uh, miss Barbara. You know, whenever she's not here, I get a sort of emptiness. When she's not here, but that's, I mean, you know, it's just, I really care about her. She's my best friend and, you know, so. I know. It, are you ready to do, for me to do the shout out? Uh, yeah, sure. I would appreciate okay. that. And now, um, the, I uh, wish Barbara well. I wish Barbara mm-hmm. well. We'll see her next week. And eventually we're going to do, um, what, the, uh, uh, blue jeans the video. and well, I mean the that's jeans. a possible. Yeah, that's that's a. I'm going to talk to Barbara about that. I, I do want to do something to where I mean, there's a way to kind of because we're figuring things out with blue jeans that we didn't know before. And mm-hmm. the thing is, I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to go into the details of it, but Barbara would be able to explain and and um it's i think we want to be able to kind of um put the show out more for more people to see if that makes any sense and and um have like for for me not before i've said a shout out you know I, i mean it's a learning thing for me because I rock back and forth, and and I'm not used to people seeing me. I'm used to people just, you know, when you're disabled, you can hide things over the radio. You know? Right, so, right. And then there's a, Johnny. Don't feel bad. There's a lot of people that don't. Yeah, want don't to be feel seen. bad. And 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 including me, I don't want to be seen. <laughs> As you get older, you know, I, I mean, I, it's I just like, hard. I, I mean, I like radio, but you know what? I'm going to give out my private consultation if anybody wants a reading, if they want. It's uh, 808-372-1816, 808-372-1816, and that's for private consultation only. I don't charge much, and if you look me up, you can look me up at uh, Dale, D-A-Y-L-E, Sheer S C H E A R dot com. All right, and also uh, I want to thank everybody uh, for being here on the show. And again, um, we wish Barbara the best. Uh, after this show, this uh, show will be uploaded to YouTube, and it will also be here so that you can listen to it. And um, basically, and that's 
and on Roku as well. It would be on Roku under the Life After Happiness channel. So I hope that everybody has a good weekend and um, good night, everyone. Yeah, hey, aloha. Night. Aloha, Jerry. Mm-hmm.